is a lot better than the average ribbon cutter. I'm telling you. I like it. <laughs> Cutting the ice. All right, Ben. Tonight there is a new local potential case of the novel coronavirus under investigation. Also, we know that help is on the way in the testing process. But around the world, concern remains high and the number of people being quarantined is climbing. Jason Colthorpe is here with the latest developments. Jason. Yeah, guys, Michigan health officials confirmed that a person from Oakland County who recently returned from China is hospitalized tonight and samples have been sent to the CDC for testing. Those results are not expected until next week, but the testing could soon happen much faster. Michigan expects to receive test kits from the CDC any day now. It will then take about a week for the state lab to be able to start conducting its own coronavirus tests. Meanwhile, efforts to stop the spread of the virus are tightening on several fronts. More Americans evacuated from the epicenter of the novel coronavirus outbreak. Now back in the U.S., where they will be quarantined for two weeks at military bases. They're considered an increased risk for exposure, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they will get sick. In Japan, a floating quarantine aboard the Diamond Princess, where more than 60 people on board have tested positive, including 11 Americans. Globally, the novel coronavirus has sickened more than 31,000 and killed more than 600. The death rate in Wuhan, China, where the virus originated, more than 4%. People are just really scared to even um, become sick, and they're definitely not going to the hospital because it could be worse than staying at home. In the U.S., health officials say at least 12 people have tested positive and results are pending on dozens more, including four passengers on a cruise ship docked in New Jersey this morning. Although the virus represents a potentially very serious public health threat and we expect to continue seeing more cases here, the immediate risk to the American public is low at this time. In Chicago, two patients are being discharged from the hospital, transitioning to home isolation. The pair saying they look forward to getting back to normal. The Washington state man who was the first U.S. patient to be infected with the novel coronavirus was discharged from the hospital earlier this week. And guys should point out that the four other cases, potential mm -hmm. cases in Michigan, were all negative. Yeah, yeah which good is good news, news yeah. but we'll keep watching. All right, Jason, we've got some breaking.